time, for though they have the Death Star all destroyed, Imperial troops did from the ashes climb and push the rebels closer to the void. Across the galaxy pursued with speed, the rebels flee the Imperial Starfleet vast. A group with Luke Skywalker in the lead has to the ice world known as Hoth flown fast. Meanwhile, the cruel Darth Vader is obsessed with finding young Skywalker. Thus he hath, through every point of space, begun his quest by sending robot probes to aid his wrath. In a time so long ago begins our play in a war-torn galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Act 2. Scene 2. The Ice World of Hoth. Enter at Acts 1, 2, and 3. Giant Imperial Walkers on the other side. But who did bid thee join us? Piet. Twas he who ordered me to come with ye, to crush the rebels and their little base. Well said, for I for I know of no baser base, when <laughs> tis destroyed. But yet, but think we shall in this fight prevail? The rebels are a force formidable. My friends, we have had quite enough of talk. The battle is upon us, let us go. And ye who doubt, I pray, remember this. Although we are but at ats gray and plain, we have a noble task to undertake. Our mighty emperor's reign to protect, the great Darth Vader to obey and aid, and Admiral Piet to serve with pride. So shall an at at swoon before the fight, or should our legs be shaken ere the salt? Have we been made to cower? I say nay! An at at should be made of sterner stuff. I pray, good walker, is he ever thus? I, truly, sir, I never yet have met an all-terrain armored transport with a loftier mind than this one here. Indeed, although like us he's made of steel, he never enters battle zones unless he hath made some great speech to steal his nerves. It does no harm. No harm but to mine ears. I really don't <laughs> <laughs> All right, add at two, back up, let's come. <laughs> Indeed, although like us he's made of steel, he never enters battle zones unless he hath, met, he hath made some great speech to steal his nerves. It does no harm. <coughs> no harm, but to mine ears. <laughs> I'd rather fight than hear another speech. Now let us go, these rebels to destroy! The Adats advance on Luke Skywalker and other rebel pilots. Two rebel pilots. Now stay together, men. Alas, good Luke, the ship's computer hath malfunctioned. Oh, I am not set for this attack. Be patient. We shall use pattern Delta now. Anon. Rebels and Adats duel, and rebels quickly retreat. They hit. A very palpable hit. Wait, although my shots have found their mark, their blasts have no effect. It is their armor. Fine. Their blasters are too weak to penetrate the strength of their robust exteriors. Rogue group, use thy harpoons and cables too. Let us go for their legs and trip them up. Perhaps they may be bested from beneath. Dak, art thou with me? This malfunction hath put fire into the system. I'll attempt to quickly gain some power another way. I prithee, be thou careful now, young Dak. The fight resumes. Dak is struck. Alas, I die. <laughs> Farewell, Commander Luke. <laughs> Nay, Dak. O oh, agony of battle, curse of war, and dread of every soldier's heart, to suffer at the hands of enemies, to end one's days by power of the unjust. What use is war? For it doth ravage all within its path. And what hath it e'er solved? Tis rare that peace doth follow in war's wake. Indeed, this recent blow doth only urge and heighten my destructive sentiments. I shall avenge thee, Dak, and slay these here who have thy lifeblood ta'en and sealed thy fate. 